another tier list, boys. And it's time to deathcore. So I remember with the metalcore tier list, I told you guys, some of you guys will be very salty. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah. Even reacted to the most one was Northland. Um, I understand that. I reacted to two Northland songs. I think it was Set in Stone and Vultures. I went back to listen to them and I was like, yeah, it's pretty good. And then it was like, hey, go back to when Adrian, the first two albums. And I did. I gave a run through and it still belongs in the poo poo doo doo pile. So, with that, somebody even said. Why would I put Architects? I mean, why would I put Attack Attack over Architects in Northland? Because Attack Attack Attack, attack, attack are pioneers. And they're ten times better than Northland. And Architects. Ooh, I, I, blood boiling, ain't it? Ha <laughs> ha. That's just my opinion. You have yours, I have mine. Respect. Some of y'all was like, you know what, kid? I understand where you're coming from. If you don't like it, you don't like it. Thank you to those people. But let's get into this. You feel me? Some of y'all go get mad at this too. <sighs> let's get into it. Winds of Plague. Uh, you mean the OGs? You mean the OGs that just released, wait, I think it was like a year ago or so, or a couple months ago, of uh, Decimate the Week. And it was over, over, it wasn't overproduced. It was just, you couldn't really hear the instruments. I don't like using overproduced, but no, uh, no matter what, they're still goats. Go listen to Impaler. That's all you gotta listen to. Slaughter to prevail. Come on, come on, come on. Demolisher. That's all I gotta say. How are you? I am under the water. Demolisher. Impending doom. This list a little too easy. Come on, impending doom. Come on. Job for a cowboy. <clears throat> nope. I couldn't. I don't know what it is. I just couldn't. Oh, y'all really gonna get mad. Carla fix. Get right there with your buddy job. I hear it. Go ahead. <laughs> Idiot. You mad, ain't you? I I couldn't get into Carter Fix. Everybody really hyped them up, and I was like, let me let me see what they about. I gave I gave what record did I give a spin? I gave Slow Death and Die Without a Hope a spin. It wasn't for me. And their new album, forget about it. <laughs> Garbage. Signs of the Swarm, absolutely. They're, they ex excelled with um, with my boy David. That's just how it is. As Bloods runs back, come on, OGs. Got to give it to the OGs. Uh, Fractured, I definitely like Fractured. Uh, I definitely like their cover. I think they really stood out with their cover of, what is it, the Bring Me Horizon. I think, I think they did Black and Blue. And they really stood out there. And I listened to a, I actually reacted to a couple of their songs. And they were great. Rings of Saturn. A Virgin's Crown on this list? Because if it is, A Virgin's Crown over Rings of Saturn. Rings of Saturn is good. I ain't going to hold them. They're absolutely very, very talented. But it, it, it isn't for me. Ooh. Ooh, hurt. That's not, it's just not for me. Last 10 seconds of life. So, I reacted to uh, a song recently by them, I think. And then I listened to the box on my own time. Because one of my boys uh, had covered it. And I was like, oh wow, that actually sounds pretty good. Um, so, I'm, I'm still new to the last 10 seconds of life. Uh, still free, pretty new. But, but what from what I heard, it's actually, actually pretty good. So... I mean, they could be on Crank It Up, but I would listen to like a couple songs and I, I really liked what I hear, or what I heard. So, A Night in Texas, ooh. Ooh, where, where y'all think A Night in Texas should go? Huh? 
huh? We crank it every single time. Thank you. All shall perish. Cranking it every single time. Come on, baby. Babies. Listen, Whitechapel, the salt is absolutely the law, baby. But their newest album, it just did not hit. I'm not taking anything from Phil Bozeman. Um, actually, the first the first time I heard of him is when you guys had me react to uh, the the tribute to Mitch Looker, Mitch L Looker, 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 yeah, Mitch Looker of, of the Suicide Silence that he did uh, that tribute thing, and he blowed it away. So I was like, hey, I gotta listen to him. So I did listen to this, the song. It's the law. Um, but other than that. I mean, that new stuff, it was doo-doo-doo-doo, but I mean, I'm still cranking that old stuff. Um, you feel me? Oceano. Um, they're absolutely got tier. Uh, Adam, great guy. He actually watches the channel, uh, and he will be on it low. I mean, once, the, once they start touring again, um, he definitely said he'll work with me with something. So, yeah. He's actually a really, really, really cool guy. A trust unclean. I don't. I don't think not too many people know untrust unclean, uh, but they're really, really good. You know what I'm saying? Bring me the horizon. So as my buddy Brandon Watson of A and B React said, you either like old Bring Me the Horizon or new Bring Me the Horizon. You can't like both. And I'm going to have to, at least for me, I'm going to have to agree with that. Because the new stuff is doo-doo. Nobody hops in the whip and says, hey, put, throw that ammo on. <laughs> no. Huh? They want to they wanna say, hey, yo, throw that play, pray for plague zone. Throw that Chelsea smile on. Throw the come down on. You feel me? Throw that Medusa on. For Stevie Wonder's eyes only on. Black and blue. But... That diamonds are forever. That's the first song I heard of them, and I was a fan. Oh, man, baby. But uh, no one's no one's throwing that new stuff on. Um, so with that, I'm gonna do pretty good over because their their new stuff I'm not I'm not I'm not a fan of, and it's like it's like split down the middle too. So, uh, make them suffer. Good band. What is it? Old Souls, uh, Lord of Woe. Oof. You know. I know. Um, what the freak? We're cranking it every single time. Never Bloom. Absolutely love Lab Room. <laughs> Actually, Metal Burb. They just reacted to it. They didn't really didn't like it that much, but I, I respect their opinion because hey, it's not for everyone. But uh, Never Bloom, Widowmaker. Uh, I just lost it But I mean absolutely Silence So I'm gonna keep it funky with y'all Everything after Bitch Looker I'm not a fan of I heard the newest album uh, I seen Randy's live stream of uh, The newest album It wasn't for me um, Anything Eddie was on It was just uh, I can't I mean the Black Crown was I did so many things to the album <sighs> so pretty good because I'm still putting on YOLO I'm still putting on the price of beauty the price of beauty I mean come on baby Enterprise Earth I'm gonna have to give it to Enterprise Earth they $600 <laughs> um, Enterprise Earth is pretty good This is going to be a hot take That many people do not Agree with I prefer Meyer Lore over Enterprise Earth If you agree with me let me know down below that, That's just me That's just me After you guys had me listen to Meryl Leach That's just me Borsa Blade, come on, Borsa Blade, don't even give me, come on, they the OGs, Awaken Providence, yo, this is, this is a good deathcore list, Awaken Providence, listen, I'm, these are the GOATs, not 
All right, let me give a little background story. Awaken Providence is so good because what was that album? It had a theme to it. It, had, it was like the Insidious theme uh, and a song called Insidious. It was that 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 Insidious theme album, and then one of my homeboys, um, Adam Mercer, joined them. And that newest album that they released with him on the vocals, The Black Sun and The Blood Moon, he destroyed that album, which made me like them even more. Um, so I definitely love Awakened Providence. I know Adam, he's going to just bring them to a new level. Um, he's definitely going to be on the channel soon after this whole Corona thing uh, gets gone. Uh, me and him have something in, in the works, in the works. I told you, I'm trying to bring out different content other than reactions because after a while they do get boring to me i like to i still love to do them but i like to switch it up sometimes like this tier list i love doing this tier list if you guys want me to do anything else let me know baby i know my boy grab is making me a hardcore tier list so another one's gonna be coming um but yeah hold on what the freak band is this um somebody let me know what that is i have no i have no idea what band is that Shadow of Intent. Ben Durr's vocal range, his control is absolutely disgusting. I mean, I'm gonna just play this little, I'm gonna just play this, play a play sound for y'all. <laughs> this whole part to the end. <laughs> I know this isn't Ben, this is like Dickie and Black. do that by himself Ben he can do that part by come on y'all don't sleep on shadow of intent baby black tongue so y'all got y'all got me on Tacoma and after coma fell in love got here of course come on infinite annihilator <laughs> I remember Reacted to a motherless miscarriage, and uh, it was another one, blasphemian. <laughs> There's some god tier freaks. Acacia. I recently got into Acacia Strain as well. Um, but come on. I declare war. We cranking it every single time. I there's no I don't have to to uh you know. Hive. I never heard of Hive, so I don't know who they are. Fit for an autopsy. Alright, so I respect Will Putney's, their production and everything. They're good, but it's just not for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it just not for me. It, I remember doing, um, you guys had me react to it live. And I was like, yo, after 30 seconds, I was like, no, this is not for me. And then y'all said another song. And I was like, all right, let me give it another chance. And it, it just, it really wasn't for me. So, but I respect everything they do. Absolutely good guys. Who is this? Who, who is that? We're gonna skip over that. 
Grave Mine, pretty good. Um, Angel Maker, we cranking it every single time. I love the boys in Angel, Angel Maker, uh, very talented. Uh, you, you guys want to see some a little some freaky deaky stuff, baby? Who's that? Who's that? What? What? Oh, that's too loud, baby. What? Oh, what am I? Y'all got me. That's that stank. <laughs> what the heck is I doing? Oh, snap. Only the OGs remember when I was at my my first place, uh, me and my wife had got. And my setup was a laptop, my phone, and a kitchen table. That's literally what I used to record on. Um, and I got my first... 10,000 subscribers with that but hey you, that's a people don't watch for the quality they watch for the person so I, I appreciate you guys i appreciate the ogs who was there dang that's crazy and syncing everything was always a, a hassle now i have obs but that's a little little something so that's why you know angel maker always be near and dear is this by blood and iron if this is by blood and iron yeah, let me know who this is. Is this by Blood and Iron? Because if it is, God tier. God tier. Thy art is murder. I reacted to Target. Um, I really didn't like it. I really didn't like the newer albums. Uh, but of course, you know, Reign of Darkness, a bop. Uh, but other than that one album, I'm sorry. I don't. I didn't like. I didn't like them. I'm sorry. I know it hurts. I know it hurts. I know. I feel it. Lorna Shore. I fell in Lorna Shore with Boneyard with uh, Tom, and my love still continues with Mystery Person. <clears throat> I mean, their Lorna Shore always just was good so there's no dispute there who is this i don't know who that is uh someone tell me who that is i have no idea what band that is within ruins we crank it every single time um the gent kings in my opinion um and damn they're just they're just really good a virgin's crown come on we know we cranking out every single time i'm gonna say it again i prefer a virgin's crown over Rings of Saturn with the whole alien core type thing. Um, it's just a personal preference. They're a new vocalist. Uh, the first the first single they released, well, I gave it a spin. I was like, he, he wasn't as dynamic as the other guy. Um, but the second one they released was great. So Chelsea Grin. Chelsea, get your ass up in the uh, god tier. Um, I don't know why they was on the metal core tier list. They should have been in deathcore, but absolute. You already know. You already know how Chelsea Grin is. Alex was good, but Tom is better. Traders, got here. Absolutely. I know Tyler used to get a lot of hate, but he's he's good. He's he's. They're heavy. They're just in your face heavy. Every time they play a show, a fight breaks out. And I love it, baby. I love it, baby. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to, um, cause Tyler also lives in Florida, so I'm gonna try to get him on the channel as well. Me and him talk from time to time. I think I, I think I can make it happen. Lotus Eater. Recently got into Lotus Eater. Woohoo! They crazy. Absolutely crazy. Threaded Shore, Heard Shore. I don't know who that is. 
you guys let me know. Who's this? I don't know who that is either. Who is this? I don't know who that is either. Spite. I met Darius. He's a real sweet guy. <laughs> he watches the he watches the channel from time to time. Um, God, they're just. He's just angry. Got here. He's just. Oh, he 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 he. I mean, from IED uh, to Judgment Day. Um, what was the first song I reacted to them? It was when he barked at me, and that became like a little meme for some reason. Uh, Hollow Front, another recent that I got into. We cranking that. Um, I, I appreciate you guys for showing me Hollow Front. Um, they're definitely underrated right now. Through the Eyes of the Dead. Get, I don't. I don't like you one one bit. I'm sorry. Spies Icon. God tier. Who is it? You see all these deathcore names you really can't see. Like, I don't even know who this is either. Yeah, I don't know who any of these allegation, allegion. I don't even know who. This looks real familiar. And y'all gonna tell me who it is, and I'll be like, oh, I know who they are. But everybody else, I do even listen to, or I can't even. Like, what the freak is this? Y'all tell me who that is. Well, y'all let me know what you guys would rate these bands and if you guys like my ratings for the most part. I think you guys are going to like this more than the Metal Core one because the Metal Core one, y'all did it. Listen, I'm going to tell y'all right now, once my boy make this hardcore one, I'm going to hurt some feelings. <laughs> but uh, it's your boy, Hardcore Keem. Let me know if there's any, like, even if there's not non-metals things you guys want me to do, let me know. I'm open. To, I'm open to some things. That's why it's not hard. Not so. Blah, blah, blah. That's why it's not called hardcore Keem reacts. It's just called hardcore Keem. I did that for a purpose. Not limiting myself, babies. We out.